So here's a fact that sort of terrifies and excites me all at the same time. Some of the biggest lakes on our planet are hidden beneath miles and miles of ice in Antarctica. Exhibit A, Lake Vostok, which is under two miles of ice, is 3,000 feet deep and is the size of Lake Ontario. That's a lot of lake. Now imagine all the deep sea creatures that are living inside that lake. And just remember, whatever life is living inside this lake hasn't seen the light of day for 15 million years. That's gonna do something to you. And by the way, the water in the lake is not frozen. It's still liquid, despite the average temperature in the area being around negative 60 degrees Celsius for most of the year. And that's because ice is actually a great insulator. Plus, Earth is always giving off some sort of heat from its molten core. Now, John Prisu is a polar scientist, and he studies life forms inside of these deep ice lakes like Lake Vostok. And one of the questions he studies is how do these organisms survive without getting any sunlight. Well, get this. Remember our old friend Dark Oxygen, aka Doxygen? Turns out these microbes are getting their energy from the rocks. And this is wild because for the longest time, biology just skipped over Antarctica thinking there was no life, no biodiversity there. But that couldn't be farther from the truth. There's an entire ecosystem teeming with life that is totally unique to anything else that exists on our planet. And what's even more wild is that the nutrients that are produced as byproducts of this energetic extraction by the microbes fertilize the Antarctic continental shelf and to the rest of the world's oceans. Because yes, despite being buried under miles of ice, these lakes flush out to the ocean. So what does that mean? It means we have this gigantic hidden ecosystem that is potentially shaping the rest of the planet with its water and unique biodiversity. And the study of how this is influencing the rest of the earth has just begun. What's really interesting is that John collaborated with NASA to see if Jupiter's moon Europa has water on it. John's assessment was that the environment on Europa was very similar to Antarctica. So it's entirely possible that Europa also has massive lakes that are just hidden underneath miles and miles of ice. If you like these types of stories, then give us a follow everywhere at Teal Science.